Cutting calories may be linked to a gene that could help create a treatment to extend human lifespans. That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe to get the latest information. What if you could do this without strict calorie counting? Now, we'll get to that in a little bit, but scientists may be on the verge of a treatment that can extend the human lifespan thanks to a protein tied to how much you eat. This gene appears to have a connection to calorie restriction. However, researchers at the Yale School of Medicine say they believe they can harness its benefits without the need for strict calorie counts by dieters. Now, that would be a game changer. The team says decades of experiments in flies, worms, and rodents have revealed that cutting down on food increases lifespan. Now, the new study involving humans and mice has identified that switching off a specific gene stopped diet-induced weight gain and age-related inflammation. The discovery opens the door to developing medications that target a key protein, PLA2G7. Specifically, in testing with mice, thymus glands, which make immune system T cells, remained functional for longer. The animals also did not become obese or suffer from illness. Study authors say that they may be able to target chronic low-grade inflammation in humans, which is a major trigger of many diseases and therefore has a negative effect on lifespan. The question, according to researchers, is what is calorie restriction doing to the immune and metabolic systems and if it is indeed beneficial, how can we mimic its effects in humans? Researchers split more than 200 participants into groups, including one that cut their consumption of calories by 14%. Over the next two years, the analysis suggested calorie restrictions also had long-term health benefits for humans. In particular, MRI scans showed the thymus gland had less fat and stayed more productive. There was also no change in the other volunteers who carried on eating as normal. The thymus gland declines faster than any other in the body. By the age of 40, 70% of the thymus is fatty and non-functional. Researchers say it's stunning that the thymus gland can possibly be rejuvenated, leading to more disease-fighting T-cells in older humans. The scientists reaffirm it might be possible to manipulate PLA to G7 and get the benefits without having to actually restrict calories, which can be difficult and even harmful for some people. Even though researchers say that a simple reduction of calories with no specific diet of any sort has a remarkable protective effect on human health. Check out the link in the description below for a lot more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.